Welcome to the AACS Daily News for July 16, 2015. The Attleboro Public Library held a special presentation yesterday evening featuring former New England Patriots offensive line coach Dante Scarnecchia. He spoke about his long history with the NFL and we spoke with him briefly after the presentation. I used to coach with the Patriots for 30 years um, and I'm here tonight as part of the Attleboro Library superhero program and just got done with a, about an hour and a half uh, visit with a lot of really nice people that were here. Happy to be a small part of it and I really have enjoyed my time here tonight and uh, I hope some, I hope a lot of people got in, got some things out of this. As a former coach now, do you ever really retire? Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. you sure do. You can, you can feel comfortable walking completely away with it? Absolutely. You know, you realize there's a lot of other things that are you want in your life, and I've chosen to do those other things. You know, I'm still a football fan, but um, I, don't, I don't really miss all those hours and all that. I have hobbies. I have a lot of interests that I like to do. Spend a lot of time with our grandkids. Um, a lot of family time. Do you think there should be maybe a league set up, like a AAA for football players? I know some people say, well, the Arena League is a proven league. I hate to say this, but it's really the truth is that, you know, the colleges are the minor leagues for the NFL. That's where you get all your talent from. And, uh, and they're very well coached, very well trained. A lot of them uh, are ready to play when they come into the league. So uh, I don't know if, there's, if there will ever be a, you know, a minor league for NFL players or not. I know that when we had NFL Europe, that was conceptually what they were trying to get done. And that didn't work out very well, but who knows what the future is going to bring. I, I think the protocol, the concern for concussions, I think that's all really good. We've done some things uh, structurally as far as practice and you know, contact and limiting contact. I think those are all good things. And if there's anything that we can do to minimize the risk of playing the game uh, for injury, in particular where that's concerned, uh, I don't think there's anyone that would object to that. The Attleboro Arts Museum has announced their next exhibition. The show is called Eight Visions and will feature the work of eight juried member artists from August 6th through September 3rd. Museum Director Mim Fawcett gave us the details. We are in the middle of preparing for our next exhibition here and that is Eight Visions. Eight Visions is an annual exhibition that's been going on for quite some time here at the museum. It's a personal favorite of mine because um, when I started at the museum just over nine years ago, the very first show that I curated and worked on was Eight Visions. Uh, it is a special show for us because it features the work of eight member artists. And these member artists uh, apply to be included in a show, um, a group show, and this year we had 60 artists who were applying to be considered for Eight Visions. We had our guest juror, Leah Niederstadt from uh, Wheaton College who came in and uh, looked at all of the applications, looked at the work of the 60 artists and narrowed the field down to 20. All of the 20 artists created a CD. Those CDs, we had two copies, those CDs go to two different jurors and then those jurors make the selections. It's a great collection of work from ceramic artists. We have oil painters, we have um, folks who are working in photography in different modes. Um, very unique work and also really top tier. And as I said, the work is scrubbed. The work goes through one juror and then two more jurors and finally the the eight come to the surface and, um, and that's what makes the show so strong. We will be featuring their work here in the gallery from August 6th through September 3rd. And when the show opens on August 6th, we debut with an opening reception that starts at um, 6.30 p.m. It's from 6.30 to 7.30. Uh, we will have a reception. Starting at 7.30, we have a uh, gallery talk from each of the artists. So we're going to be very lucky to actually have the voice of the artist, the, the artists themselves, in the gallery. They will go around and they will talk about their work and explain their creative process, uh, inspirations, uh, how their work has evolved. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.